unprecedented heat wave hits the Middle East, causing an increasing pressure on the region's power system. A clothing factory that carefully calculates their electricity bills is trying to save more production costs by starting with their air conditioning fee. A school that integrates low-carbon and environmental protection concepts into its construction aims to create a near-zero-carbon campus. A building equipped with various types of free air conditioners that do not require electricity beers has gradually become a demonstration window for Saudi Arabia to efficiently utilize the sun. Saudi Arabia, the kingdom of oil, is undergoing an energy revolution. From top to bottom, efforts are being made to comprehensively transform the economy and society. A disruptive technology that transforms air conditioning from an electrical device to an integrated power generation and consumption devices providing a groundbreaking Chinese solution for this country to achieve its 2030 vision. At 5.58 a.m., when the first ray of sunlight shines on the rooftop of the AL SSI headquarters building in the center of AL Koba, Saudi Arabia, the neatly arranged 240 photovoltaic panels begin to absorb the energy provided by the sun. Instantly, the solar radiation energy awakens the photovoltaic director-driven inverter centrifugal chiller. The activated unit immediately drives the air conditioning system in the building, sending out warm air to welcome the people who are about to work in the building. Although it has already been autumn, the highest daytime temperature in Saudi Arabia in November can reach over 30 degrees Celsius. Therefore, Hand, the head of Air SSI headquarters, orders that air conditioning must remain in working condition. To a certain extent, Ham may be the person in El Koba who is most skilled at utilizing solar energy, and most likely the person in El Koba who understands photovoltaic air conditioning the most. In 2016, when the Saudi government proposed the 2030 vision due to concerns about oil dependence and the pursuit of economic diversification, Hamd realized the value of green photovoltaic air conditioning in promoting this national plan. We heard about solar air conditioning, special button from GRI. When I saw this air conditioning, I believe at that time it's the right product for Saudi Arabia. The so-called photovoltaic air conditioner, in simple terms, is a device that uses the photovoltaic effect to convert solar energy into electrical energy, and then uses the electrical energy to drive the operation of the air conditioner. Although it may seem simple, it is actually a very difficult task to achieve a cross-border integration between photovoltaic power generation and air conditioning power consumption. Therefore, Han, who comes from a background of science and engineering, is very clear about the significance of the emergence of free photovoltaic air conditioning Saudi Arabia is one of the regions with the strongest solar radiation on Earth, providing unique natural conditions for the development of the photovoltaic industry. Therefore, the world's largest single photovoltaic power station, the Saudi Arabia Air Shaiba Photovoltaic Power Station, constructed by Chinese companies, has landed here. As a key project of the 2030 vision, 
The Air Shiber Photovoltaic Power Station has set a benchmark for cooperation in new energy between Saudi Arabia and China. Equally leading internationally is the photovoltaic direct-driven inverter centrifugal chiller system created by Grid of China. This system, which has been identified as the first in the world, realizes the idea of self-sufficient air conditioning energy without electricity bills and also creates an era of zero energy consumption for central air conditioning. Pam believes that green photovoltaic air conditioning has great potential in Saudi Arabia. As everybody knows that Saudi Arabia, air conditioning in Saudi Arabia, it's the most important Project in all of the project because the, our temperatures reach more than 50 degrees and the humidity reaching 100 percent and the dust it's everywhere. This is why any project in Saudi Arabia, any house, hospitals, everything in Saudi Arabia, it's have to it's, you ha, they have to have an air conditioning. Otherwise, they cannot live a good life. Saudi Arabia is hot and dry all year round with temperatures frequently exceeding 50 degrees Celsius. The demand for air conditioning is unimaginable in other countries. In summer, the proportion of air conditioning energy consumption in the total building energy consumption of Saudi Arabia can reach an astonishing 70 to 80 percent. Therefore, energy conservation and consumption reduction of air conditioning or even a fossil fuel-free power generation are of great significance for Saudi Arabia's green and low-carbon development and the realization of the 2030 vision. It is precisely for this reason that Ham that has great motivation and enthusiasm for promoting green photovoltaic air conditioning in his own country. Of course, besides passion, Ham has more approaches. He installed three types of green photovoltaic air conditioners, including PV centrifugal chiller, PV mounted VRF, and air cooled screw chiller in the Air SSI headquarters building. The facts speak for themselves and get proved by data. He turned the Air SSI building into a demonstration base for green photovoltaic air conditioning allowing Saudi citizens to personally experience the zero-carbon legend of green photovoltaic air conditioning. When we think about any new thing, we usually try it in our building, we try it in our home, we try it in our friend. And frankly, when we start this idea, we try it in our building, we install the VRF solutions with the most high efficiency and with the solar and we install the BV uh, chillers centrifugal chillers with the BV with the high ER more than 22 ER and we install all of the machine here and we connect all of this one to the software it can give you all the information about how much saving you got how much uh, saving of energy because of the low-carbon, energy-saving and environmentally friendly characteristics of green photovoltaic air conditioning, the Science Oasis International Schools did not hesitate to choose green photovoltaic air conditioning as the first choice when considering which type of air conditioning to use. Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, means garden in Arabic and is a typical oasis city. The Science Oasis International Schools, located in Riyadh, is also named after Oasis, naturally hoping that the school can also have a garden-like view. But a deeper pursuit is that the school hopes to make significant breakthroughs in energy conservation and emission reduction compared to traditional campuses. The emergence of green photovoltaic air conditioning will help to achieve this goal. Here we are uh, saving the environment. Uh, in the Kingdom Saudi Arabia, we had a good vision 
2013 and here we support this vision um, from learn our kids how can uh, save environment this why shows the GRI because GRI had a good system for the environment. The total cooling capacity of GRI photovoltaic air conditioning installed at the, the Science Oasis International Schools reached 3,200 cooling tons. This scale is not only the largest in Saudi Arabia, but also in the world. The school hopes to turn the school into a science education base with the theme of near zero carbon campus through the application of free photovoltaic air conditioning. They wanted children to start from practice, experience firsthand the significance of low carbon living in protecting our planet, and bring back the low carbon concept and environmental knowledge learning school to society and to influence more Saudis. Our capital city now, it's going to be a green city. And this one, it's not going to be happen just by built, making planet or make more trees in Saudi Arabia. No, it's by reducing the net zero carbon in Saudi Arabia. To reach to this point, we have to use the best solution to use. It's the solar air conditioning because solar air conditioning, it's uh, solving the problem of high efficiency machine, fully controlled machine, and generate power for the air conditioning and the schools. This is how the kids gonna learn about solar air conditioning and about saving the air. In Saudi Arabia, the operating expenses of institutions such as education and health are undertaken by the government. There are over 500 hospitals and more than 30,000 primary and secondary schools throughout Saudi Arabia. If these public buildings all adopt a green photovoltaic air conditioning, the annual cost of saving and carbon emissions reduction will be astronomical figures. So, if green photovoltaic air conditioning could be popularized in more government public sectors, the economic benefits, environmental value and social benefits will be immediate and effective. There are few high-rise buildings in Saudi Arabia, mainly consisting of mid to low-rise buildings. The number of photovoltaic panels installed on a roof of the same area is fixed. The fewer floors there are, the fewer rooms that require air conditioning, and the greater the coverage of photovoltaic air conditioning. In addition, Saudi Arabia's buildings mostly have flat roofs, which are extremely suitable for the installation and laying of photovoltaics. All of this means that Saudi Arabia is the most ideal place for photovoltaic air conditioning. This naturally includes factories as well. The garment factory named Masha, located in El Ha'il, Saudi Arabia, has a history of over 40 years and specializes in producing traditional Arab men's clothing. Recently, in order to expand the production capacity, the garment factory has built a second phase factory building, caused by high electricity bills in the first phase of the factory. Production costs remain high. Therefore, the construction of the second phase factory prioritizes electricity conservation. And they usually having a big problem in the cost of the electric high electricity bill. How are they gonna save it? For their new building, they are looking how to save their invoice. This is why we they find agree it's the right solutions. Unlike equipment manufacturing factories, garment factories generally do not have high energy consuming equipment, and the most power consuming one is air conditioning. So, if they can reduce the electricity cost of air conditioning, or even avoid generating electricity bills, 
the cost expenditure of the factory will be significantly reduced. After conducting thorough market research, Masha Men's Clothing Factory ultimately chose free photovoltaic air conditioning. The first phase, the electricity bill, more than 40,000. Today, they can reduce to 7,000 Saudi Riyal because even with double size, because they are using green solar air conditioning. Since its launch three months ago, Masha's new factory has saved over 90% of its monthly electricity expenses, equivalent to reducing carbon emissions by 108 tons. If calculated based on 12 months per year, the new Masha factory will reduce carbon emissions by 1,296 tons per year, equivalent to planting 72,000 trees. Compared to electric benefits, environmental benefits are also the goal pursued by this garment factory. The emergence of green photovoltaic air conditioning has turned the traditional carbon-intensive factories into environmental experts. With the application of advanced air conditioning technology in office buildings, shopping malls, hotels, residential areas, hospitals, schools, factories and other scenarios, Saudi Arabia is writing a more exciting chapter of environmental protection. The past year of 2024 was the hardest year on record. The urgent need to cool down the earth concerns the fate of all humanity. Moreover, the global energy crisis is still ongoing and major countries around the world are chasing each other on the track of developing new energy. As a renowned oil kingdom, Saudi Arabia also faces crisis and climate and environmental issues. In addition to vigorously introducing photovoltaic power generation projects, the promotion of green photovoltaic air conditioning also has important value for Saudi Arabia to achieve its 2030 vision. The most important thing you know, for us, uh, a government uh, now is starting to listen. Before, nobody listened about this. Now the governments, all the government sectors, uh, listen to this. The private sector listen to this and uh, they are, you know, uh, accepting the idea. So, uh, we believe in agree, we believe in the, uh, their technologies, and we know that uh, agree will, will, will uh, offer to us the right product, uh, giving the right solutions for, for our problems. At present, China's green photovoltaic air conditioning is being applied in 35 countries and regions around the world, including Saudi Arabia. Providing more efficient and environmentally friendly clean energy solutions for Saudi Arabia and helping to achieve Saudi Arabia's 2030 vision as soon as possible. It also provides an oriental perspective for the green transformation of the global energy structure illuminating the future direction of human green development. We are a grief family. One, two, three!